Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha. Today I'm going to discuss the fourth part of abatement in the Indian Penal Code. Abatement is very lengthy, that's why I have divided abatement into four parts and I have made a series of abatement. I have already posted my three videos pertaining to abatement. In my previous video, I have mentioned abatement, punishment pertaining to abatement. And in this video, I will complete the remaining part of the punishment because punishment of abatement has been mentioned right from section 109 to 120. In my previous video, I have explained from section 109 to 115. And in this video, we will discuss 116 to 120. So let's start. Section 116 of IPC describes abatement of offense punishable with imprisonment if offense be not committed. So section 116 is basically related to such type of punishment for which offense has not been committed. Now the difference between 116 and the another section which we have already discussed is that in this case uh, section 116 first part states that if any person is abating another person to commit an offense and with the consequence of that a person is not committing any offense and if for that type of thing that type of abatement no provision has been mentioned under IPC then in that case whatever punishment has been prescribed for that offense one fourth of the longest term will be given to the person who has abetted another person to commit an offense no matter the commission has not been done for example if a offers a bribe to b who is a public servant and b refuses to take the bribe even if he has refuses to take the bribe still the person a will be responsible and punishable under this section now the second part of section 116 second part is related to public servant that means if a waiter or a person who is abating is a public servant and he, what is his duty his duty is to prevent the offense and in that case if a public servant is abating any other person to commit a crime no matter that crime is not committed then also public servant is liable or punishable for the punishment which has been prescribed under IPC for that offense one half of the punishment which has been described under IPC for example if a police officer whose duty is to prevent robbery abets a commission of robbery here though the robbery is not committed but A is liable that means a police officer is liable to one half half of the longest term of the imprisonment provided for the offense and also be fine now section 117 which speaks about abetting commission of offense by the public or by more than 10 person that means whoever abets the commission of an offense by the public generally or by any number of class of person exceeding 10 they shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to three years or with fine or both or both that means if any person is abating more than 10 person or public at large to commit any sort of offense then the person will be punished with a three years of, of punishment or with fine or both now section 118 which speaks that concealing design to commit offense punishable with death or imprisonment for life now this type of offense are serious in nature if anyone is concealing any fact which is known to him about any sort of offense for which the punishment is either a death or imprisonment for life that means any serious type of offense and if that person is facilitating another person who is committing that person i have already explained in my first video that abatement could be in any type or any level either abatement is by instigating 
or by conspiracy or by aiding or facilitating anyone so this is related to facilitating any person even if you are helping aiding or facilitating any person that also amounts to abetment so if any person is helping another person to perform that offense for which the punishment is either a death or imprisonment for life and if that offense is committed then the person who is doing that abetting that person of to commit the offense then the punishment will be 7 years and or fine or both and if that offense is not committed but still the person has facilitated that person then the punishment will be 3 years and in either case it should be uh, he may be liable for the fine as well section 119 describes public servant concealing design to commit offense which it is his duty to prevent now this is again serious in nature if a person who is a public servant and he is abetting that means he is abetting in a form of either facilitating or aiding or helping anything if in that case if person that means a public servant is aware about the commission of any sort of offense for which the punishment is serious in nature but still public servant is not performing his duty and he is allowing that person to commit the offense then the punishment for the public servant will be half of the punishment which has been prescribed for that offense in the court with fine and if he is abetting or concealing the fact of that type of offense for which the punishment is either the life imprisonment or death then the public servant will be punished for the term exceeding to 10 years with fine and if by any chance if that public servant is concealing the design to commit an offense and the offense is not committed in that case the punishment will be 1/4 of the offense for which he is abetting with fine section 120 of ipc describe concealing design to commit offense punishable with imprisonment now this particular section is related to the same thing but for the common man not for the public servant which 119 describes that if any person who is concealing the design to commit any commit offense that means he is well aware that any sort of offense is going to commit and he is not informing police or not helping police or misrepresenting police or magistrate then in that case and allowing the another person to commit that offense so in that case the punishment for the person who is abetting by aiding or concealing will be 1/8 of the longest term of the punishment prescribed for that offense this is stated under section 120 of ipc this is the end of the series abetment in ipc hope you like the video and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and share and subscribe my channel if you want a detailed notes you may visit to my website that is priyasepaha.com and you may also follow me on fb that is law colleague q and instagram law colleague q twitter dr priya sepaha and youtube dr priya sepaha thank you for watching see you soon bye bye